First, I'd like to say all glory to God because, I mean, this is better than I could have ever imagined. Um, I'm just a small town kid with really big dreams, and I'm honored to show all the little kids that are watching this that dreams do come true if you work hard and you have great faith in your life. Um, a huge shout out to my friends and my family and everybody that helped me get to be where I am today, um, especially my coaches and my teammates. Um, I stand on just on this stage alone, but without them, I wouldn't have this award, um, and they've sacrificed so much for me. Okay, sorry. I just had ankle surgery. I'm out of breath, okay. out of shape. But now, um, with the light that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black-led sport um, and celebrated here, I want to show a light on black women. Um, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. Um, they've given so much to this sport and the community and society as a whole, and their value is un undeniable. Um, and in the WNBA, the last season, the postseason awards, 80% of the winners were black, but they got half of the coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Sport sports media and sponsors tell us who is valuable. And you have told the world that I matter today. And everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. So to Maria Taylor, Robin Roberts, Maya Moore, Odyssey Alexander, to all the incredible black women in my life, on my teams, to Breonna Taylor and all the lives lost, and to those names who have not yet learned but I hope to share, I stand behind you and I will continue to follow, follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So I just want to say thank you for everything.